This noon, new information and new criticism as the government lays out its report on what caused that Enbridge oil spill. A spill that is by far the most expensive onshore oil spill in U.S. history. 24 Hour News 8's Danny Carlson is at the live desk with more on this report. Danny? Yeah, Emily and Brett, that meeting is actually still going on right now. It's been going on for several hours in Washington, D.C. And as you mentioned, it is the most expensive inland oil spill to be cleaned up in the history of the United States at costing more than $800 million to clean up. And it all started back in 2010 from a ruptured pipeline. Now, the report is looking at a bunch of different factors, not just the physical crack in the pipe itself, but how so much oil was allowed to go into Talmadge Creek and the Kalamazoo River. Now, not only was there a six and a half foot long crack in the pipeline, but the NTSB is focusing on other factors too, like the fact that Enbridge employees thought that alarms going off weren't because of a crack, but rather they thought it was because the pipe wasn't full, so they pumped more oil into it. For more than 17 hours and over three shifts, the people controlling the pipeline did not respond to the alarms, the pressure differentials, or even follow their own safety procedures that were established following another catastrophic release in 1991. Another problem pointed out was the fact that emergency crews locally didn't have the right training to deal with an oil spill, that Enbridge's safety plan was unrealistic, and one member of the NTSB board says the company took advantage of weak regulations. It's evident that this accident did not just occur because of corrosion in a pipeline. What this investigation has shown is that this accident was the result of corrosion throughout, throughout many vital safety aspects of the Enbridge organization. Now, as for Enbridge, we did speak with company officials yesterday. They told us they're already working on changes to make sure that this never happens again. The first one, the big one, is that they're replacing that entire pipeline that ruptured. But they also say that they've made changes to the company's infrastructure, telling us that they'll now have a team dedicated solely to monitoring pipelines for potential problems. Now this area has been carved out, so it's completely the focus of this team to help maintain the health and integrity of the line. We don't ever want to experience another accident like this. Now, as I mentioned, that meeting is still going on. I'm going to continue monitoring it until it is done. And we do plan to follow this developing story and also get Enbridge's response to what this report has uncovered today. We plan to bring you that story in our later newscast, 24 Hour News 8 at 5 and 6, and also on woodtv.com. At the live desk this noon, Danny Carlson, 24 Hour News 8.